Maybe that's how like the pre-served people that are all warring and striving and shit. And then one guy came up with a genius idea like, hey, let's tell all the tribesmen that aliens are about to attack. So we'll build a bunch of mountains, trenches, and ramparts in strange but awesome shapes. So aliens who know not to mess with us get scared and fly away. Hell yeah! That sounds like a great idea. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... You're right, sir. Hit the button, baby. Are you dead? Alright, we're looking at the independent. We're talking about NASA is puzzled by a huge 8,000 year old mystery structure in Kazakhstan that resemble ancient crop circles. And Andrew Griffith is saying that the structures can force a complete rethink of our understanding of early humanity, experts say. Yeah, well, I don't think about early humanity too much, because science is done all that, and most of the time, they know everything, unless there's more money to be made, there are more mysteries, suddenly become uncovered. So let's dive into this one. I got a feeling there's going to be a lot of weird shit in here, and I'm sure your brain is already saying aliens. NASA has released pictures. Whoa. It's not often I say that sentence. That's weird. I bet they're like 10 years old or such. You see, NASA has released pictures of huge patterns drawn on the ground in Kazakhstan. And it's in an attempt to solve the mystery behind how they got there. Or I would say that since NASA is releasing all these pictures, they've already gone in and got all the good stuff, and now we're like, nah, nah. I don't know, kind of jaded when it comes to NASA. So let's just read it on. The huge formations are known as the Depi Geoglyphs. Scientists have little idea how they were formed, aliens, but think that solving the mystery could lead to a huge change in how we understand early humans. I don't even know what that means, man, because like early humans were just us earlier. So how this could help us understand early humans, I don't know. Like, what more do we need to know? They pooped, they ate, they made love, they cursed, they got in fight, you know? Like, what well, grand revelation is going to be revealed? I do not know. I'm sure science will sink billions of dollars to figure it out. There are around 260 of the designs which are carved into the ground and made out of piles of earth assembled into shapes that include squares, rings, and swastika shapes. Oh, now I see NASA's paperclip interest in this. The oldest of them are thought to be about 8,000 years old. And how would you figure out how old it was? You know, you can't, like, carbon date a formation. You know what I'm 
saying, I was throwing darts at a board. The patterns were first spotted by a Kazakh enthusiast in 2007, who saw them on Google Earth. Dmitry Day, who worked as an economist, was watching a program about the pyramids of the Discovery Channel and looked to see whether any such buildings were in Kazakhstan. When he looked, he found the strange structures. But despite being known for almost 10 years, Kazakhstan hasn't made much of the finds or work to investigate them. Yeah, it's kind of weird looking. It's almost like giant horseshoes. Horse imprints. And yes, of course, this one looks like a single boob. But, you know, single boobs are creepy. But NASA is now joining the hunt. Oh, come on, whatever. To find out how exactly they got there. NASA has released a range of satellite images showing them photographed from the first time in an attempt to catalog and detail them. Like, hey, everybody, look, we found a swastika. Remember Operation Paperclip? Neither do we. El Hydra. No. The land around the symbols was once a key destination for Stone Age tribes looking for places to hunt. But scientists would previously not have expected that such a population would have the time or the organization to build and dig the huge symbols. I don't make no damn sense. Like, as we understand early man, they have TV, they have smartphones, they have cars. So all they had was time. And a hunt, poop and make out. Like, what else was there? Like, dance around a fire and uh, make giant symbols in the snow or dirt or whatever's in cast. The idea that foragers could amass the numbers of people necessary to undertake the large scale projects by like creating that. Kazakhstan geoglyphs has caused archaeologists to deeply rethink the nature and timing of sophisticated large-scale human organization as one that predates settled and civilized societies. Said Harris B. Clarkson, an archaeologist, at the University of Winnipeg. That is what he told New York Times. Yeah, if they're making giant structures that the aliens can see, I would definitely say they're mildly civilized. And I would definitely guess science got a whole lot wrong about history and early human time. Like, we don't come from monkeys. Kind of stupid shit is that? But whatever, I digress. I don't want to make people mad with my opinion. It isn't clear whether the creations were created as an early form of art or for a, a practical function. They could have been solar observatories, some speculate. That's a stupid speculation, like how do a bunch of rocks in the ground form a solar observatory? Can you tell me more about that speculation? In a way similar to the theories that the uh, in a way similar to the theories that surround 
and other ancient constructions like Stonehenge. They rocks in the ground, they giant towering rocks that go in shadow, church and formation with the rising and falling of the sun. I don't know, I'm just confused. Great. Thanks, NASA. Some of the strange theories have also proposed that the structures have something to do with aliens. All right, and do it. That would be my guess too. Or have been linked with Nazis because of the appearance of the swastika. While some of those can easily be rejected, the swastika was used in a wide range of contexts before Hitler. Others, wait, did Pokemon come before Hitler? Others are harder to dismiss because so little is known about how the finds came about. Alright. So, whatever. Kicking out the New York Times to this end. Cool. Why not? High in the skies over Kazakhstan. Face edge. Technology has revealed an ancient mystery in the ground. The largest near Neolithic settlement is a giant square of 101 raised mounds. Its opposite corners connected by a diagonal cross. Covering more terrain than the great pyramids of Cheops. Another is kind of a three limbed swastika. Its arms ending in zigzags and counterclockwise. Maybe it's the first computer if it's all ones and zeros. Or maybe it was telling the aliens, hey, Land here. Described last year at an archaeology conference in Istanbul as unique and previously unstudied. The earthworks in the Taragi region of northern Pakistan number at least 260. Mounds, trenches, and ramparts arrayed in five basic ships. Maybe they're getting ready to fight aliens. Maybe that's how like the prehistoric people that are all warring and tribing and shit. And then one guy came up with a genius idea like, hey, let's tell all the tribesmen that aliens are about to attack. So we'll build a bunch of mounds, trenches, and ramparts in strange but awesome shapes. So aliens will know not to mess with us, get scared, and fly away. Hell yeah! That sounds like a great idea. And as good an explanation as anyone I've heard in either of these two articles. So that's what I'm going to go with. You can go with whatever the hell you want, man. That one looks like a smiley face, but it's called the best smooth cake ring. I've never seen anything like this. I find it remarkable that Compton J. Tucker, a senior biospheric scientist for NASA in Washington, who provided the archived images hanging by the satellite contractor Digital Globe to Mr. Day in the New York Times. Ronald E. Laporte called NASA's involvement hugely important in mobilizing support for further research and fundraising. I don't think they were meant to be seen from the air, Mr. Day said in an interview from his hometown. Dismissing outlandish speculations involving aliens and Nazis. Okay, I 
I guess because he's a scientist that works for NASA, he's always got to dismiss theories of aliens, even though it's pretty much mathematical fact that some form of alien life is out there in the universe of the damn near infinite. And nature has a history of repeating itself, but whatever, man. I was worried this was a hoax, said Dr. Laporte. Yeah, I'm sure a bunch of Kazakhstan teenagers went out and built 260 structures out of rock. Because they had a lot of time on their hands. You know, because we have way more time nowadays than uh, guys back in the day did. Or whatever. I don't know why, but this article now pissed me off and I'm signing off. Peace.